And we went to the local bike shop and we bought him a bike so that he can ride his bike to work every day, so that he can get there, so that he can make a difference. And I guess as a supervisor, that's what I look for. I look for staff and I train staff so that if I leave and move on to other opportunities, they can step in and take my role. If there's something our community needs, the why will react and we will find a way to make it happen for our community. I went to college and I, I ended up working at a behavioral school while I was going to college, again working with youth, working with um, youth who had been removed from their school and then sent to another school. And I, again, I really enjoyed working with youth. I finished my college degree and I of course took the first job that I could find, which was at a YWCA, um, working in a domestic violence shelter. And whereas I was able to help people, it, was, it wasn't really for me. And a position opened up at the YMCA. And actually someone I had known called me and said, I really think that you would enjoy this, Melissa. It's a sports position. Um, you know, you're really athletic. You love working with people. And I apply for the position. And now just in the youth development director, I oversee all the summer day camp. I oversee after school. But I also am in charge of all the community relations. I don't know if I'm going to be walking in and have to spend my entire day with the kids in the day camp room or the day camp room, the gym, the halls, the bathroom, the locker room. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be spending my day there with the kids or if I'm going to be sitting at my desk making sure every roster is correct or if I'm going to be typing emails back and forth all day to make sure we have everything set in place for our grant. Um, but regardless of what I do during the day, I'm always going to be in contact with people I'm always going to be in contact with youth. Um, I'll always be looking for something else that I can do to make our why better. Technology is a wonderful thing because I can send an email to Houston and New York, and if I have a question, I just ask. Um, so I use other people as my resources, but I also use the exchange lot. It's another tool that I feel is underutilized a little bit with the discussion boards and the chat rooms and. You know, I think we're all just getting used to the, the restructuring of those because they're a little more difficult to use at times now, but um, I really reach out to other Y professionals. One of the things that I am most proud of with Summer Day Camp is, is our kids were coming to the Y without meals. Um, they were coming without food. Um, I myself would go out and get them lunch or call somebody to bring them lunch, and I walked into my my exec's office and I said, you know, we have, I, I can't handle this anymore. We have to do something. Um, and this was our first summer where we not only got the USDA Summer Food Service Program grant, um, where we were able to provide lunch and a snack for the youth that attended our program, um, but I didn't want to stop there. I said, well, if we're feeding them lunch and we're giving them a snack, we should feed them breakfast too. I didn't know I could be this passionate about what I do until I started living, living what I do all the time. Um, until I started realizing that I can make a difference in our community. Sometimes it's simple. Sometimes it is just writing a little grant to feed everybody breakfast. But sometimes it's so much more than that because those, seven, those kids in Rock Falls that are part of our 21st Century Grant these, we're providing them opportunities that they're not going to be able to have unless the Y gives it to them.